Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial video. I know I can't believe it. We're on a second tutorial video. I'm back, baby. Oh yeah. So today we're going to be checking out how to use the scoreboard. And I'm actually going to use this tutorial to also update my old game because as you can see in the scoreboard, there ain't nothing there. Why? Well, that's because it, I must have set it up somewhat correctly. Ha 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 ha. It's quite a big issue in a lot of maps because Fortnite, let's be honest, you don't really explain the scoreboard very well, okay? It's confusing, all right? Deal with it. Okay, I have finally found it. Yes, finally. So chat, it's under rounds, victory condition. This is what we're looking for. You've got your round win condition, which is the main thing we're looking for here, okay? Pretty much what this is, is an invisible scoreboard. So under user interface, you know, you've got your, your regular scoreboard here and you can set up first scoreboard column, second scoreboard column. And usually the way you do it before is you would actually set this up as like time alive, whoever stayed alive the longest, yeah, time alive. But we're not gonna want to put that there anymore because let's be honest, you don't want it to be showing up how long they've been surviving for because it shows milliseconds on all this. Instead, you're probably gonna want it to show like eliminations, right? Not AI eliminations, buddy. This ain't no chat GPT tutorial. If you want to see a chat GPT tutorial, let me know, I mean, what? Okay, so I've went ahead and I've changed it. So the first scoreboard column shows eliminations. The second column will then show how much damage each player has done. And then the third column shows how much damage they had taken. Then we're going to want to go back to the round setting here and then go down to the victory condition. Under round win condition, you're going to want to then change that to time alive. If it's one of those games kind of like say zero build or battle royale and you want the last person alive to get that victory royale on their screen you're going to want to set this to time alive okay no other way around that so now whenever we start the game on the scoreboard you can now see it says eliminations damage dealt and damage taken but you cannot see the win condition which is time alive anymore it will not show that but it will only use that for the victory condition and not the eliminations damage dealt and damage taken so if i were to win um man i'm lonely huh we're going to jump in the water here and eliminate ourselves we build early buddy i ain't no scaredy cat what you talking about of course i won because i'm the only one here and i survived the longest that's just typical so chap yeah that's how the scoreboard works now of course you're going to want to also make sure that you have last standing enabled which I believe it usually is on, but just double check because the game will not end if there's only one person left. So do make sure you have last standing ends game enabled. Uh, or if you know, you got some sort of weird respawn thing, uh, don't turn this on, you know, but <laughs> hey, hey, I, I, would, I would say keep it on, you know, you know what I mean? But chat, that's how you use the scoreboard system within Fortnite Creative and UEFN. Again, many of people have run into issues with the scoreboard, and that's how you use it. Hopefully this tutorial helped. If it did, I would absolutely love it if you could like or even subscribe. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers. We're only like 200 subs off, which is crazy. Next time, we're going to be checking out how to make a map voting system where you can click on a map, wait for a timer to end, and vote overall what map you are all going to play in. So don't forget to leave your notification bell on so you know exactly when I upload that video. Anyway, I'm your host today, Mr. Mobile, and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Have a good rest of your day. Toodles! I could go for some pumpkin pie right now.